This video will be discussing music on hold circuit cards used in 1A2 key systems. The two cards that is on the left side are Western Electric and the card that is on the right side is an ITT. This is a 498 KTU that is missing the daughter board that gives you the uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh circuit. This is the same KTU with the daughter board. This is the only one I've ever seen. This one was removed out of a 718 ComKey system that had at least more than four phone lines with music on hold. This here is a Western Electric 451, and this is used uh, for the 400D series. Also, the 400G will work with this card, but the 400H will only work with the 498 KTUs. Both of these cards are fairly rare to find on eBay, but they do exist. Then I have an ITT K403, and this is a six line unit that is only used on the ITT K400E line cards. This is the schematic of the 451 KTU. This shows the seven circuits. The very first one shows the components and then the blocks representing the same thing that the first circuit shows. And I will zoom in on this block shortly. And then it shows you the pin configurations that is um, on the edge connector, which is the end of the card, the silver connectors that's on both sides of the card. The Western Electric cards requires a 40 pin socket or something that has a 40 pin socket in it such as a 642 panel as well as several other types of adjunct panels was made that had 40 pin sockets that was cabled out to a 66 block for cross connecting. The ITT K403 uses a standard 18 pin socket. So you, if you have an ITT, shall we say, K584C panel, you could remove one of the sockets out of that to plug the ITT card in. Or if you have an ITT K601, there's a miscellaneous slot that is made for a 20 pin circuit and you can use that as well. This is the actual schematic of the 451. And if you look over on the right hand side, you'll see that the edge connectors of the 451. If you go to the Telephone Collectors International website, and put in BSP number 518-215-401, you should find this document. Here's a quick schematic of the 498 KTU. It's also located in the Telephone Collectors International website, I believe. Any of the 1A2 stuff that's common has been uploaded to those folks. This is the printout that comes with the ITT K403 KTU. I believe this is uploaded to the TCI site as well. You may have to just search for music on hold. The library has a lot of different variations of circuit cards by different manufacturers and some of them are listed by part number and some are listed by music on hold. This is a close-up of the drawing part for the 451 KTU. As you can tell over here, this is the tip side of the phone line, the tip of the central office and tip of the station. It just simply comes from the line card, the 400 line card, and your 66 block multiple into the card and back out. 
The reason for that is to keep the audio pair balanced so that you don't end up with <clears throat> noise through cross connects and long crop jumpers. The top part of the coil here, one side connects to the central office, which has got the capacitor in it. The other side connects to the station. So this is the ring of the CO, the ring of the station, and then they're calling this the tip of the CO and tip of the station. And again, it's just going in and out of the card. You will need to practice to wire this up correctly. Here's the partial schematic or the wiring diagram for the 498. The 498 works radically different than the 451 or other types of music on hold. They're monitoring the A lead of the phone and the lamp of the phone. They're using an opto isolator to detect the lamp and the A lead to detect the ground. This is the other half of the schematic. So you can tell that there's this uh, station tip and station ring. And then when the card is put on hold here, it then connects the music to the station side of the line card, which does drag the audio down a little bit. So you have to crank up the input on the 498 card. This card should work with any KTU made since they're looking at the a lead and the lamp. However, the holding bridge in other KTUs could be different enough that it may not satisfactory work. I have not tested this card using uh, non-Western electric cards. The ITT KTU has here a built-in amplifier so if you have a low level audio source, you can adjust the output for all six circuits with one single amplifier. The Western Electric KTUs do not have an amplifier built in. So your audio source must have the ability to be adjusted to provide the satisf satisfactory level for your outputs. I have here pictured five non-Western Electric line cards. We have a Stromberg Carlson 400D, and this is equivalent to the Western Electric 400D. Then we have two very old ITT 400D KTUs. And then I have two almost electric GTE, get the extinguisher, KTUs. This KTU is designed for music on hold to be inserted in a different way, and I will describe that briefly. And then you have the original series 1400D made by Automatic Electric, and that is the same as a Western Electric 400D. I tested in my system all five of these KTUs connected to a 451B and they worked satisfactory. The only thing that I noticed between these and the Western Electric 400D was the audio level was slightly lower, which would have been overcome by increasing the audio level into the 451. Otherwise, they all worked perfectly well. I was curious if they would or wouldn't. So the holding bridge that they're using is very identical to what Western Electric did. I tried an ITT K400E, which is the most common card, and it did not work with the 451B and the 400H KTU did not work with the 451B. So the ITT and the 400H would probably work with the 498 without any problem. I think any of these line cards would work fine on the 498. So that's an experiment I had never tried until I decided to make this video.
here I have a very old ITT K400E, but it's still common. The newer one just had a black handle on it, such as the K403. These two were intended to be used for music on hold. You would wire up two wires from the K403 to the line card at the 66 block. One side would be connected to the tip side of the line. The other side would be connected to pin 18. And then on each line card, you would set this strap to allow music on hold. This was a very nice, clean, fairly easy thing to wire up if you had the wire, uh, slot, of course, or the proper mounting for the 403. I installed quite a few of these in my uh, career. Other manufacturers that made line cards, uh, and there was a multitude of them, uh, Premier was one of them. Uh, then there was Sandbar made them, and they made a 4000F. And the way they had done music on hold, so we're going to assume this is a Sandbar card, even though it look, will look different. They used pins 3 and 18 and superimposed music on a common bus in the panel. And then the line card would, when you put it on hold, would connect your line through uh, resistors or whatever on the card to the bus and you would have music that way. That was a common theme in some of the systems of the later 70s, early 80s. I never worked on any of that stuff with music on hold. We always used ITT equipment or um, an occasional Stromberg Carlson piece of equipment and music on hold was not that big of a selling feature due to the cost anyway. And on a lot of your 1A2 systems that had music on hold, it may not work very well due to the size of the key system, the way the system was installed. Um, the more telephones and the more cable, the more noise that's being introduced into the phone lines. And the way the music on hold was done, they would pick up a lot of this noise so you would hear the interrupter in the background and ground noise or inductive noise. So the big systems, you kind of was useless putting music on hold. My system here at home is so incredibly complex and insane and I'm doing so many different things that the only way I could make my music on hold work is I had to put a dial long lines in between the 400 KTU and my station wiring in order to get all of the noise off the circuit so that the music on hold would work. That is not a typical installation, but it does work and I've had to do that for my own system. I have one 451 card installed in a 642 panel. And we're looking at the wiring of the upper quadrant of the 642 panel. And that is for several circuits of music on hold in my system. All right, I have a line on hold that has a lot of phones connected to it in my building here and a couple other buildings in the property. If you hear in the background, you can hear a small clicking. I've turned the radio source off, so we still are on music on hold without an audio source. And that's the noise that you would hear on a system. And the more phones and the more cable plant, the louder that noise would be.